Good morning cultists, welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu. It is Christmas Eve, so um, you know, happy holidays to everyone and all that. Uh, I did play the game forward a little bit because literally that was nothing but maybe about 20 something minutes of me just waiting for the days to go by. Just about nothing happened, a couple governors died, um, our technology thing in the engineering section got completed. I forget what it was. I think it was like military station damage. 10% or whatever. So now we're researching this. Our, um, Thembalon finally got integrated. Thankfully. Uh, and I think we have... Yeah, we have a, some of their fleets here, or ships here, that we want to get rid of first off and we also want to get rid of their stupid ass uh, military fleet too so let's get rid of them fantastic and yeah uh, other than that like literally nothing happened the Ikazuri actually managed to um, uh, subjugate or seed or take over the um, the guys who were ruling this uh, area before I don't quite know what it's, what they were called. Um, that was about it. And I'm glad I kind of just skipped through that because it was actually nothing but just waiting for time to pass. And it was uh, quite grueling. It actually took about 20 minutes or so. And I'm glad I didn't um, let you guys uh, suffer through that. But we're back to creating some decent amount of, uh, what's it, influence here. So, you know, that's good. We'll have our options um, when it comes to. Well, if we have more influence, we'll have more. We'll have better options for uh, admiral recruitment and all that stuff. So let's see if we can do that now. Get an admiral that might increase our fire rate, please. And of course, it's not gonna happen. We're just gonna do this whole song and dance again until we basically find an admiral who can increase fire rate. But in the meantime, it does also mean that we can, in fact, start recolonizing some of these planets, which uh, should be good. But of course, I, uh, it's going to be difficult to do unless I let the influence regenerate and not waste it all on um, an admiral that can increase, increase um, fire rate. Actually, why do I even need an admiral that increases fire rate? I don't think it's even necessary at this point, considering that we have an enormously strong like fleet why is it even necessary i don't think it is so let's let's just completely forget about it it's don't even worry about um getting a new admiral absolutely unnecessary and uh let's send one to bobby's poop as well fantastic i mean maybe the uh, energy Gain isn't going to be as amazing, but well, whatever, it's fine. And the game doesn't lag as badly by splitting up the fleet into four, I think. I don't know, doesn't really matter. We have another year until we can declare war against the Ikazuri. So that's going to be a little bit of a waiting there as well. Enim? Oh, this is, uh... Oh, right, that's a planet that we recently took over from the, um, Thembalon. You know what? I don't want to have to deal with you guys. So, why don't we just go genocidal on these freaks. Fantastic. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that planet anymore, that's for sure. Should we resume our cleansing of the Empire? I think we should. Um, I mean, it's gonna be another year or so before we can declare war, so it's not gonna be like too long of a wait. But, eh, oh well. I mean, we might as well do do something, right? Rather than just kind of stare at the screen. Waiting for time to pass. Not generally the best way to spend time, I find. Shit, we can't. Damn it. Kropsal Siva. Uh, we can't take a Jandis out, right? Because, oh, wait, we don't have enough, um... Influence. Dang, nabbit. 
The jaundice is the one with the uh, super ass aliens that we want to get rid of. I hate that this uh, system is being shared by three different empires. The Jehetma, the Varelviv Allied Dominion, and then us. Can we integrate the Jehetma? It's gonna take 60 months, like five years. Eh. This'll take less, but mm, I don't think it's really worth it at this point, just to reduce border gore a little bit. Uh... Dark Prime, it's, I guess, doing its own thing. Rexco, I believe, doing its own thing as well. I have a fob. That's... Right, that's another system that needs to be, um... Eradicated. Or purged, rather. Why do we have an... Oh, right, we're above one because of, um... Enim, which used to belong to the Athembolon. I don't like this crazy performance hit. It makes me sad. Yes, please get rid of the Varalviv fungi. Unacceptable. Ugliest sin. Because clearly we're such a beautiful race. Of, um... Sentient... Octopi? Things? Couldn't be more beautiful. Honestly. Alright. I think, yeah, the the home at last sector, they're all Cthulhu now. I, I wish there was a way to tell, like, at a glance. But unfortunately, a lot of finer details in this game are tend to be a little bit more buried. So, that is something you have to kind of watch out for, I guess. Can we put Osidan under... Quirbus 1A. That's a terrible sector name, by the way. Can we change that sector name? From Quirbus 1A to something a little bit more appropriate? Uh, where are you, Quirbus 1A? There we go. It's not Quirbus, it's better sector name. It's the better sector name sector. Fantastic. That's a lot more memorable. Do you guys have planets that need to be purged? Yes, you do. Fantastic. In the meantime, why don't we... ...settle some of these? Can we? Uh, 30 influence? Yeah, sure, that's, uh... ...fairly cheap. Um, go ahead and settle down... Yeah, here. End them in our prime? No. Naf Ujba. There you go. Good, good job. Good job, guys. Good job. In the meantime, how close are we to declaring war? We can do it again. Fantastic. Can we actually get them to be vassalized? No, doesn't seem like it. Should we just get them to cleanse their planets? I don't know. I feel like maybe that's a better way to go about this, rather than just... Ah, uh, no. We, we talked about this before. And I think the, um... The thing that I mentioned was that it's... It would look better for our entire galaxy to be purple, rather than, like... You know, purple and then parts of it are black because it's... Not claimed by anyone because we asked them to purge instead of... Or cleanse instead of, a uh, seed. So, let's do this. Where we just... Add some shit to whatever. Eee. This is not the fun part of the game, but oh well. Yeah, sure. See that crap. And yeah, I was right about how um, the smaller the or the larger the uh, empire, the less war score their uh, planets cost. So as the um, Ikazuri dwindle in empire size or system size. Their uh, planets are actually taking much more war score to seize than uh, than before, when it would just take like, you know, two or so, uh, two war score per uh, planet, which is quite a bargain, believe me. Takfan for Malhut. 
Oh, it's a f that's formal. It's formal haut. Sounds kind of Germanish, but probably not. It's some weird alien language. That's right, I said it. Weird alien language. I'm not gonna dance around the issue here and uh, be sensitive about the needs and plights of the Ikazuri. They've been a plague on our uh, sides long enough. I'm quite happy to let them know what I think about them. And of course, once we um, claim all these planets, they're going straight into um, freaking sister or sector. So there's that. Savik? Oh yeah, already um, late claim on that. Okay. I feel like they've got some uh, frontier outposts in various locations here. And I'd like to find them and eradicate them if possible. But that's just, that is going to drag the war on a little bit longer, but eh, well. Ah, well, ain't nothing doing, right? Zarim? Is that's already been added to the list. Zania. And maybe we can fit it one more? No, that, not that one, that's for sure. Um. Beetlejuice? No, not Beetlejuice. No, oh, what a shame. Kind of hoping we could fit Beetlejuice in. I don't think we can fit one more in. I think it's going to be like, yeah, minimum of four. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. All right, well, this will probably be the second last-ish. Third last-ish. War against the Ikazuri. So let's do this. Let's crush them. Go around just annihilating them. Go there. You guys can start that section. You guys can... I'm pretty sure they've got a frontier outpost somewhere around here, so I won't want them to find that for sure. And then maybe these guys can scout around this area to find their... Um, sector or their thing there. And of course, now we are currently losing... Uh, energy, but... Not a whole lot, thankfully. It's fine. I think we'll survive. Construction ship, just go back to base. Otherwise... Are our sectors giving us all of their, or the majority of their resources? It should be. Yes, I believe so. Fantastic. What the hell is this? Oh, right. Where are you guys? You currently are in there, Avafob. No, no, you guys can take that back. It, I, I don't want to deal with this stupid planet. There you go, thank you. Now we're back to making, um... Eh, not amazing, but... We're still back in the green with our energy, which is good. Yeah, we shouldn't really see much resistance from the Ikazuri. Considering that we've made such a huge impact on their, um... Naval capacity as well as their resource generation. It should be fairly easy for us to destroy them. Oh yeah, do you guys remember that, um... Situation log updated. The fleet of... Uh, what's it? Do you guys remember that random-ass... Like, uh... What's it called? Oh, random-ass transport ships that were stuck in, like, limbo. That were, um, breaking the space-time continuum. As soon as we integrated the Thembalon, they just disappeared. So I don't quite know what that was about. But, yeah. I would like for the Ikazuri to actually make, you know, bring their fleets in and we get to fight them, but I don't think Hostile they're really engaged. going to engage us at this point. So... There's a good chance I might just blitz them. But considering how much more powerful we are in comparison to their, um to their military, I think we're justified Situation in our, um, updated. in our, well, you know, strategy, or plan to, um, what's it? In our plan to blitz them. Because otherwise it's just gonna drag on, and I'd rather not have to, you know, siege their planets down and destroy all, or like, take over their planets and whatever. 43,000? We should still be able to take them on. 
they are following the third abyssal flotilla. So actually, why don't you guys... Why don't you guys go over there? I don't know if you guys will get there on time. But I'm hoping that they'll be able to get here. Because that's, I believe, where the uh, enemy ships are coming from. Complete. And we'll be able to intercept them, I guess? As they fly in? No, they're already there. That's okay, you guys can take them on. 43,000? Oh, whoa, whoa! Okay, uh, red alert. Red alert. Red alert. Get there right now, because there is a fleet of 16... Yeah. 1,600. That are looking a little threatening, not gonna lie. So let's actually gather these guys into the, um... Into turtle soup. Which I hope, um, kind of hits home for them, right? Hopefully. And you guys, I don't know if you're, you're actually engaged in battle. Um, what chance do you hope to stand against our Ikazuri? Situation None. Updated. You probably immediately regretted your decision. Let's gather around in turtle soup. I think we should be good here. Because we have that fleet of, um, 16... Thousand? Uh, 160,000 that are currently approaching our Abyssal Flotilla. Hopefully they'll be able to get out in time, I think. Yeah, they should be able to get out in time, I think. We will... We probably will be able to take them on. But that being said, though, I'd rather be a little bit more careful. I, if I can avoid losing 1,600 or 160,000 um, fleet power worth of uh, ships, I'll take that chance. I'll take that... Option? Yes, I'll take that option. I guess I kind of underestimated their naval capacity, but... Oh well. Are they following us? Yes, they're following us. The fourth Abyssal Flotilla, which is these guys. Um, you guys can actually gather around to... Here, I'm guessing, is... Probably where I think they will enter. You know what? Let's just pick this spot here. That's gonna be like the center area of uh, most most of um where the fleets come in. I think. Fantastic. Are they still coming? Though. He's still coming in. You guys can yeah. You guys can take point. Construction. Fantastic. Complete. Are they actually coming? They are following the 4th Abyssal Flotilla. And they're currently inside our turtle soup system. Hopefully these guys will also come in. They're following the 4th uh, Abyssal Flotilla. Fantastic. Okay. You guys could get station there a little faster. That'd be amazing. What station is under attack? Is it this one? Apparently so. Fantastic. Just go there. Crush them. Station under attack. You know? The Ikazuri are now the laughing stock of the entire galaxy. Because they were so powerful. But now they've been reduced to nothing but uh, basically turtle soup. We are in fact devouring their species. And here comes their 160,000. Should be a fairly easy fight. Considering that we overpower them. Really? Did we seriously lose a ship? Come on guys. That's embarrassing. Don't do that. Whoa, 85,000? Holy crap, maybe they're nothing... Maybe they're not to be laughed at. Who am I kidding? I'm still gonna laugh at them. I don't think they really stand a chance still. That being said, though, we are losing a little bit of um, ships here and there. But probably nothing compared to uh, what they're losing, is my guess. If you're epileptic, you might want to look away, because it's gonna flash and... All kinds of weird colors are going to be dancing around all over the place. Holy crap, their um, strike crafts... St their st strike crafts? Their little tiny ships are basically hitting a wall at this range due to our flat cruisers who are just taking them down like nobody's business. It's quite amazing. You know what though, the 160-something thousand uh, fleet that they had may actually have been the fleets that... Um, 
Escaped. Fantastic. Holy crap. Good hustle out there, guys. Good hustle. I don't need to select all of them, okay? I don't need to select all of them. Here. First, Abusia Flotilla, your job is to find the um, frontier outpost here. I don't like that they have this little weird little business going on there. Nobody likes business. You guys... We'll start, um... We'll start the Blitz Siege. Here, I think. Once you guys uh, start sieging that down, I'll divide you guys up. And I'm guessing that is pretty much the entire Ikazuri fleet. I don't think they mu have much more. And of course, um... Whoa. Okay, Precursor Discovery? Should we investigate this? We can't. There's nothing there. You lied to me, game. Freaking lied to me. Again. Hostile fleet engaged. I think that's still bugged. Updated. I think that's Situation something that they need to updated. still work out. Because, um... They were Hostile saying, oh yeah, you can definitely engaged. get, um... Situation log precursor. You can finish Precursor Discovery even late in the game. But, uh, clearly that was a lie. Well, it wasn't a lie. It was just... I don't think they've um, ironed out the kinks yet, as far as I'm aware. Situation log updated. What situation log? Oh, okay. So what? How much did we actually lose in that fight? We lost two destroyers, which is understandable considering that we have absolutely no need for destroyers anymore. Yeah, we lost destroyers. We lost a few battleships, but nothing to really, you know, cry home about. I know that's not the expression, but you know, whatever. Yeah, sure, let's get you guys over to Minch here. Start taking more shit down. Hostile fleet in you guys Situation can go to updated. Foma Hout. You guys can also split your team up. Well, I guess I split up a team um, more than once. Okay. Well, why don't you guys just get to wherever you need to go. There we go, see? I knew it. I knew they had a, um, a frontier outpost. Unacceptable. Take it down. Three frontier outposts in one location? Really? Is Was that completely necessary, Ikazuri? Trick question. It wasn't necessary at all. Completely unnecessary. But, oh well. Can you blame the Ikazuri? They're giant stupid turtles. Not to imply that turtles are all stupid. I've had pet, pet turtles. They were absolutely amazing. Until they developed some kind of weird turtle-only pink eye thing that, um... That ended up killing them. That was when I was a child, it's not like I was abusing my, or neglecting my pet turtles as an adult. But I think... Hostile fleet just about engaged. every, um... Former... Situation log or updated. You know, Hostile pet owner, engaged. or turtle owner that I've spoken to... Situation log updated. Has had that issue. Where their turtles kind of develop Situation this weird film in their eyes and can't really open them that well. I think it's because your water's dirty or something. I don't actually Situation know what the updated. what the whole deal is, but no. Yeah, Situation log updated. If you're getting pets, do your research. Make sure that you know how to take care of them and all that stuff. This is a PSA from Cthulhu. Clearly, the most. Educational channel on YouTube? Hostile Maybe. Fleet engaged. Probably not. Situation log updated. You guys are just destroying stations, right? Yeah, nothing to worry about. I hope. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation Fantastic. log updated. Situation log. Please updated. destroy that thing. I don't want to see it Situation anymore. Situation log updated. And then maybe after that, I'll get them to move to Colony other areas because I feel like maybe we maybe they should go on a world tour. And just destroy a frontier outpost wherever possible. Hostile fleet engaged. Because I feel like Hostile fleet maybe engaged. they've got some down here. Situation Who knows, right? Log updated. Possible. Situation log updated. How you guys doing? Oh, you're Situation destroying uh, transport ships. Updated. Fantastic. Situation Good job. Log updated. Way to bully the enemy. Engaged. Situation log updated. It's exactly what we want. Ah, oh, awesome! Look at that! Holy crap! Now that's Reset back to. Complete. You know, situation log updated. Being within situation our uh, empire, updated. which is good. Engine energy weapons, sure. Uh, go with more speed 
And by that, I don't mean the drug. Uh, do we need that massive fleet? I don't think we do. You guys can actually split up even more. And you guys can split up too. You guys will start sieging that down. Um... I don't know if we necessarily need to be looking for uh, Frontier Outposts down there. Eh. It's not really a big concern. It's not like they're encroaching too much onto our lands here. Oh, 100%. I was like, oh no! The game's crashing! No, it's because they lost. They lost badly. Of course. Um, let's just put everyone under one. Navy for the time being. Okay, they're they're are they fighting? Are you guys actually fighting? You guys ain't farting. Are, aren't, you guys aren't farting. You're, hopefully, you're definitely not farting. Situation uh, log updated. You just destroyed one of our own spaceports. Good job, guys. That's exactly what I pay you for, right? To be complete jackasses, possibly. Trick question. That is definitely not why we pay you. You guys are being complete jackasses. Go back to base. I'll see you there. And let's put these new... Newly conquered planets into the sector. What? What? I didn't know they were there. Otherwise I would have gotten them to... See that too. Well that's annoying as hell. Oh well. It's fine. Mistakes happen. I like this name, Wumjam. But no, it's called Karkana. Okay, fair enough, whatever. I don't really care what the name of the sector is, as long as it's uh, pronounceable by me. And memorable, memorable enough that I don't just look at it and go, what the fuck is this? As long as WTF is this, does not come out of my mouth. It's a decently named sector, I don't really care. Uh, maybe that's too many planets inside that sector. Whoa, what's uh... Too fast, Zoom. Too fast. Do they have... Oh, there's some over there they're, they're too. Okay. Oops. Let's get another sector going here. Sabik. Okay. I see. I see what's happening over here. Anything else to put in there? No? You tell? Fair enough. Let's get another one going up here. We'll start with Zarim. Zania, take all this. Take all that crap. Wait a minute. What am I doing? There's only two systems here. They're completely unnecessary. We're just wasting stupid. Damn it! Just wasted influence. Wait a minute. But we still have. We're still over. Oh. <sighs> Supposed to go south, man. South, you dumbass. Oh. Is our? Oh, so it doesn't cost influence to add sec sectors to um, add system to sectors. Oops, but it does cost uh, influence to take them out. Shit, and I need to get Miwino back as soon as possible. That was never meant to be inside a sector. Oops, my bad. All right, fantastic. I don't know how many more wars we need to wage against the Ikazuri to just completely annihilate them, but I'm guessing it's going to be another two or three. Because we can't vassalize them, we just have no option, so we just basically need to need them to just cleanse their planets or just seed them down to the very last one. But as their empire gets smaller and smaller, their the cost to seed them uh, get them to seed planets does increase, so there is that. Fantastic. And you know what I'll do is I will put another break in here, and then I'll just let the time pass until um, our truce with the uh, Ikazuri have cooled down again, and then we'll come back um, in the next episode, which is tomorrow on Christmas, for what may be the last episode of the series? Possibly? We'll see. Probably not. Because, I, again, I'm guessing it's going to be another couple of wars before we uh, just swallow them up entirely. But yeah, let's leave it off here for now, and we'll see you again in the next episode. So, 
Thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.